himself and also only three assists. Yeah. What went into kind of? I think we did a better job of, you know, deciding we were going to take away his assist. Um, and I went, uh, 11 free throw attempts, which, are, you know, is, is decent. And so we took away his free throws. We took away his assist. Um, you know, we took away his three-point shot and, um, you know, forced him inside two for um, contested twos. And so I thought we did a good job of that. If you remember, uh, last time we played him in the third quarter, he had those, you know, 12 points on assist and uh, transition threes. And so um, we took those away. What goes into taking away an assist of a guy who can see the floor like he does and draws doubles teams like he does? I think recognizing shifts, reading inch outs, understanding spacing, where the personnel is, who's the actual guy that can help, um, who can't help, and then just being connected on a defensive end. Jalen goes out with the early foul trouble uh, and uh, <coughs> Derek. What, what was the key to kind of getting through that, that period? I mean, I thought our bench stepped up. Um, I thought Grant, I thought Malcolm were great. Um, you know, the great thing about Jalen was he asked for uh, to guard um, Doncic tonight. He got three fouls, um, kind of took him out of his rhythm in the first half, and I thought he did a great job in the third quarter of not forcing it himself but playing the right way and, and finding the right play for him and for his teammates. And so um, I thought the team really fed off of that. James as well, just a second career triple-double. How was he able to impact that all? I, yeah. Just had a presence about him. I think when he has a presence and he has an understanding and he – he has a motor um, to affect the game in different ways, whether it's screening, whether it's handling, whether it's uh, offensive rebounds and cutting, getting to the free throw line. And so um, when he plays with that type of presence, he can affect the game in different ways. When did Jalen approach you about taking on the Doncic matchup? What was that conversation like? I'm guarding Doncic. I said, okay. <laughs> and when, when did that happen? Was it shortly um, the game? Was it? Uh, no, it was that film this morning. Other guys are able to help out and kind of take uh, some of the pressure, scoring pressure off Brown and Tatum. How much does that help make you a better team when the scoring is kind of spread out? The yeah, I mean that's kind of what we are, right? Like that's that's when we're at our best. We have that balanced attack, um, and our our bench guys are playing with confidence, with poise, with aggression um, on both ends of the floor. And so like it goes back to you know we've seen the best version of ourselves. We've done it for a, a, a good amount of time. Can we continue to do it over and over and over again? Yeah, I think we had the intention to fight for the, the greatest shot. Um, you know, I think our offense and our spacing and our personnel allows us to get really good looks, but I thought we fought for great looks. Um, you know, and that's something that we can continue to work on as well. What's the challenge there? Because guys get good looks. And you encourage guys to take the yeah. shots, but you also want to get them good to great. How do you get them to stop going, hey, that was a good shot, we're going to work with a great shot? Usually when you make the first couple, it's easier after that. Um, but you're right, like it's a challenge. Like I think, you know, we shot half our shots were threes tonight, which I love. Um, and they weren't just one shot, you know, one pass or one drive. There were some that were one drive and there's some that were multiple. So you have to find that balance because I do want our guys to shoot and have confidence. Um, but there is something to the effect of getting multiple drives, which kind of moves the defense and wears them down a little bit. Joe, did you know you guys were going to respond tonight or did you hope you guys would respond tonight? I knew we were going to. But like I said, and you know, because I knew it, it's a matter of can we do it over and over and over again. Our guys um, have a level of maturity about them. It doesn't mean that they're um, not going to have bad games or stinkers, but we have a level of maturity, and our guys really want to win. And so I trust that in them. Um, you know, so I knew we were going to do it tonight, and I'm going to work to make sure that uh, we try over and over again to do that. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.